Well hello and welcome back to this week's video. A few of you might already know that the Santa Claus Cup is coming up soon. Um, so I'm just prepping about a week or two beforehand before this video. Um, a few rigs uh, that I think might work. Um, it's going off of the longest fish uh, this competition. So really our only target is probably going to be a ray. Because um, that is the longest fish I can think of apart from a smooth hound or a conger fish which we don't get congers round here. Um, smooth hounds we only really get into, into the summer, so someone will be lucky if they catch one. So we're going to be targeting the format rays. Um, again, this rig will catch anything. So the rig's quite a simple rig. Um, it's going to be used on a side in ledger rig. I mean, most of you know what that is, but again, in the future video, um, we will be showing you how this, how this works in motion. But we've simply got a swivel here, as you can see, it comes down and we've got two spurs off. So we've got our first one, that what I've done is, because I haven't got any booms, um, what I've done is I've got a piece of shrink wrap tube in there, as you can see. I've got two beads, like so, two crimps and a swivel. And that just comes off to a piece of shrink wrap tube in which gives us that boom. Again, all I've done is just shrink wrap tube, is just shrink wrap this section here. So all this line, all this mono can run freely into that section there. I've got about a foot of uh, trace coming off of that um, piece of shrink wrap tubing, about a foot tied off to a 6-0 coxswain rule. Um, I think these are specimen extras. I'm not too sure, but I think they are. So coming off of that boom. We've got another about a foot and a half of trace coming down to another 6 so session and extra hook. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this rig dead easy, dead simple, and hopefully it works on the day. So first things first, we're going to be using these. Uh, these are a specimen extra 8O. I thought they were 6s, but it turns out they're actually 8Os. Um, caught a lot of rays off of these. Very, very, very strong hooks. And cocks and rule, you can't beat them. Okay, so we're going to be using this Asso Ultraflex 80 pound mono. It's quite a strong one, um, but again, those rays and that, you have to have good abrasion resistance. So we're going to be using this. So first things first, we're going to tie on our hook. Give that a bit of, bit of a wet down. Like so. I'm going to be leaving quite a bit of a tag end on this um, since we do not want to lose a fish on the match. So that's the first job done. Now we're going to be wanting to set this aside, so I'm going to measure about a foot. Cut that off there. And this can be set to the side because we won't be needing this till later. So next to our main line, we're going to be adding a crimp. A bead, a swivel, another bead, and finally a crimp. So that's what you should have. Next we're going to take another 8 o hook. I'm going to tie that on to the same line give that a moisten down and give that a cinch I'm just going to snip off that tag end not too close again so there we have another hook tied so from this we can now determine our length of our trace that we want to our next hook. So I've gone to about a foot, just over a foot, and I'm just going to crimp these here. Again, just using a normal standard pair of pliers. You can use the professional stuff if you want. Uh, pliers works just as good. So again, from this crimp and bead, we're just going to add another foot on. Snip that off there. 
and then we're just going to add another swivel and this here is what our main line will connect to and again snip off the tag end so here we should have a free running trace we've got our swivel this end coming down to our bead and crimp and then coming down to our hook length that side we're now going to bring back the hook length that we made a couple of minutes ago and to this we're going to be wanting to make a little miniature boom so we're going to get some heat shrink tubing I know that this blue one just goes over the top of the swivel so that's perfect we'll use a piece of this you're going to want to slide that down the hook length that we made a couple of minutes ago slide that piece of shrink that tubing down leave it free running for now and we're just going to tie this onto this swivel now you could cut this tag end off but I don't see a need all I'm going to do is put that shrink wrap tube in over the top of that like so so we're just going to hit this ever so slightly with the lighter literally just so it grabs it no need to go mental here Just like so, just so you know it's got it. Just like that. And that there is now given us the boom. So there we have it guys. Nice, easy, simple rig. Hopefully this does well on the boat competition. I mean you guys are going to watch it now. This is about two or three weeks beforehand. So made this up. Let's give this a go and see if we can catch a ray. Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. Morning guys. Bit of a different one today, we've got a boat competition coming up. I think there's about 16 boats, 30 plus anglers, so it's going to be a cracking day. So we launched early hours this morning um, off of the Harwich Beach, and we're just walking down now to the pier to get onto the boat and meet the other anglers. Here's the lads. Look at this, BBC's here, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, Bill, Bob and Colin. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, competition's on, everyone's just scootled off. <laughs> We're all going off in their different directions. Alright guys, so we're just set up now, just off of Harbour Crescent, over there in the distance. We've got a few boats, we've got Neil on my law over there, and another boat over there, just behind us. So, yeah, just set up, got the baits out in the water, big baits we're going for, because we're going to hopefully target those rays. So, we've just received the notification, word well out Andy. Nice big ray there, 71 centimetres. Could be the winning fish, Dylan, eh? Could be. Yeah, could be the winning one. Got to try harder. Must try harder. Must try harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the winning fish, Paul. <laughs> bait. Yeah, bait. <laughs> just, uh, just moved location. We was a bit further over there, but I think, um, well, we didn't have nothing over there, did we? So we moved out a little bit more. Uh, see what happens here. So, there's some guys next to us. Don't know how they're doing. We haven't seen anything from them, but there's another boat. A bit of a row over that way. Yeah, always a catching though, isn't they? There's they quite, a few, quite a few rays being caught, so. Not on this boat. Not on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've moved location again, guys. We're up near the light ships now. There's a big old cluster of boats around us as well, so. And it's. Chucking down with rain, isn't it, Dylan? It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm in the cabin out of the way, look. Just Paul and Dylan getting wet. By the way, I've got the kettle on the go, so. So, just a bit on the bait that we've got today. We've got some nice heron and squid wraps that we pre done uh, about a week ago. Just backpacked them here. We've got heron and squid. 
in here we've got all sorts. Um, there's bluey squid and there, mackerel. Yeah, there's bluey. Crab and mackerel, bluey, mackerels, normal mackerels. Literally all sorts. There you go, another squid and mackerel there. So plenty of bait today. Just making up some nice, nice wraps like that. Pretty much the story of the day, really, guys. Whiting. So been quite a few caught now, but that's about it, really. This is what we're getting now. Double shots of whiting at a time, so our tide's picked up a bit more now. It's flooding a bit better, isn't it? So here we have it. Nice, well done, Dills. Yeah, just uh, just putting a bit of bluey on here now. Just baking it up. Oh, on up a, in the game, are you, Paul? Up in the game. Well, we're singing in the Last Chance Saloon, so <laughs> uh, I've got to try anything really. We got about half, what we got about half an hour left. About half an hour, and we are uh, lacking <laughs> slightly. <laughs> <laughs> desperate, desperate measures, desperate times. Well, that was the uh, Santa Claus Cup. We're all done. Uh, the boys are all going in now, so heading back to Haveny Pier. Catch up with you in a bit. Alright guys, well we're back in the warm. It was a very <laughs> wet and cold. It was, it was very <laughs> miserable. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus Cup of 2021. Um, unfortunately for us, we didn't really catch anything but whiting, did we no, really? No. Um, but well done to Neil from Mylaw out of Walton. Um, lovely skate that. Yeah, yeah and, and yeah. a couple of the other boys had some good skate as well. So uh, we had a really good day. Um, I thought it was brilliant. It was lovely to actually meet all the other all the other guys on the boats and yeah and obviously you know if you want to take part next year i'm sure it'll be it'll be happening again um there has been mentions of um other trips as well sort of going out on the boats through probably bass fishing in the summer and that sort of yeah. thing so so thanks to ed for organizing this i'll link his uh, channel in the top of the description box um brilliant well organized weren't it so yeah it's really good that was good also um gavin from cheapskate boat fishing uh, I think he's only got about 10 subscribers, so that's another uh, channel that I'll link underneath Ed's in the top of the description. So the competition will be on both of their channels as well, so please go and check that out. So that's it from us. And we'll see you next Saturday.